Senate Bill 160 has brought to the table a multiplicity of constitutional and bylaw related problems that if left standing would attack both the integrity of the ASUC Senate and the ASUC's governing documents. It is up to the Judicial Council, as it is of course the one with the sole authority to interpret the constitutionality of this law, to decide if it should let the bill remain intact, strike problematic clauses, or do away with the bill completely. Firstly, the Attorney General, who is charged with representing the ASUC in Judicial Council suits, has declined representation due to disagreement over concerns of these charges and the constitutionality of the, the bill. The Solicitor General has similarly agreed on relevant charges and has not shown up today to defend the bill. The President, who did not even veto this legislation, I'm not sure, did you receive an amicus brief from him? Okay, so, sorry, then I'm not going to say that. Um, the finance officer uh, submitted with this testimony, so is that not? You, as I said, you can speak. Okay, so I'll speak. So um, the finance officer presented, I guess, an argument then um, that as the objective representative of the finance committee, um, these concerns were um, existed. Seven senators who technically are represented by the defense also uh, agree with the unconstitutionality of Senate Bill 160. Um, obviously, multiple, and, and we do have a vote of 11 senators that agree with the bill itself, but not necessarily 11 senators that agree with the constitutionality of the bill. So, obviously, multiple pieces of legislation this year have concerns that could potentially be similar to the ones I am presenting today. However, I am, of course, not the ASCC policeman as much as I wish I was, and am bringing charges for a case that has been relevant to me. The point of this is not to shame anyone or the authors of the bill, as I know they are all good people. The point is to rectify a situation that has the potential to put the ASCC's legitimacy at risk, and even more so, put our governing documents at risk. If there is a significant chance that this bill breaks even one of the four clauses I have outlined, those violations cannot go unaddressed. 